Rose and in this video I'm going to share with you 15 ways that you can avoid inheritance tax. Inheritance tax itself was introduced by the government in 1986 to replace a tax which at the time was called capital transfer tax. This tax is applied to the funds in your estate which are the property and assets you leave behind when you die. In 2019 it is set at a rate of 40% which applies to all assets over the current tax-free threshold of £325,000. This is also known as the nil band rate. So if your assets are over £325,000 then there won't be any inheritance tax to pay. However, if your estate is worth more than that then you will pay tax at 40% on anything above this amount. Therefore, if you do think you would end up paying inheritance tax on your estate, it's only natural to find legal ways to avoid it. I'm going to share 15 tips with you now. Number one is to make a gift to your partner or spouse. When you are married or in a civil partnership, you can give anything you own to your civil partner or spouse. This means that your estate will not have to pay inheritance tax on what the gift is worth. There are rules to bear in mind with this option though which can become more complex if your spouse or civil partner was born outside of the UK or permanently lives outside of the UK. If this is the case, you should seek professional advice. Number two is to give money to family members and friends. You can give money or assets as gifts to family members and friends who are not classed as your partner or spouse. However, for it to be classed as a gift, it really does need to be a gift. This means that you have to gift it outright, which means you no longer have any benefit from it. The value of any gift that you give will still be included in your estate value for inheritance tax purposes, but only for seven years. After this time, it's excluded from the total value and therefore cannot be taxed. Also, you should bear in mind that if you can only give away limited amounts per year, up to £3,000 annually. Capital gains tax may also be payable on certain assets, which is why it's worth discussing gifts with your solicitor or financial advisor to be completely sure. Number three is to leave some money to charity. If you leave all of your estate to charity, there will be no inheritance tax to pay. However, many people only wish to leave a portion of their estate to charitable causes and the rest to family members and friends. There are still advantages to charitable donations upon death. If you leave 10% or more of your estate to a charity, the amount due on the rest will decrease considerably. This is because instead of being calculated at 40%, the rate reduces to 36%. Number four is to take out life insurance. Taking out life insurance and directing the money into trust will not directly reduce the amount of inheritance tax you'll have to pay. However, it will make it easier for your surviving family members to pay the bill. The payout may prevent them from selling the family home, for example. Number five is to set up a trust to potentially avoid inheritance tax on property. One issue that many people look at is how to avoid inheritance tax on property. Whilst this is a complex subject, a trust can be one way to achieve this. A trust is a legal arrangement that enables you to give cash, property or investments to somebody else to look after for the benefit of a third party. You can, for example, put savings in trust for your children or for a spouse. There are two important roles required within a trust fund. The first is a trustee. This is the person that owns and manages the assets in the trust. The second is a beneficiary. This is the person that the trust is set up for. When you put items in trust, they no longer belong to you, and this is where the inheritance tax benefit arises. Setting up a trust to avoid inheritance tax does have a range of implications, both for you and for family members. So it's advisable to discuss these at length with your solicitor or financial advisor when considering the options available to you. Number six is to take advantage of business owner exemptions. If you are a business owner, you can transfer interest in your business to a friend, relative or business partner without being subject to inheritance tax. This transfer can be made before or at the time of your death. Number seven is to transfer agricultural land or buildings. Under the terms of agricultural relief, it is possible to transfer certain types of buildings and agricultural land without being subject to inheritance tax. Number eight is to give away your assets before you die. Of course, there is no need to wait until you die to distribute your belongings. As you become older, you are likely to find that many of the assets you have accumulated are not needed and this is the perfect time to pass them on. 
it may be a good idea to seek legal representation to make sure that your assets are distributed in a fair manner and that there are as few conflicts as possible. Take the time to work out how much you need to live on and consider giving everything else away to your close friends and relatives. Number nine is to give wedding gifts. Gifts in the form of property or money that you present to a relative at the time of their wedding are not subject to tax. If a child or another close relative is getting married, this is the perfect time to pass on their inheritance to them so that they will not be subject to tax. It may be a good idea to put a provision in your will stating that they have already received their inheritance so that they do not make a claim for further monies after you've passed away. Number 10 is to spend your inheritance. If you are faced with a terminal illness, this is a good time to treat your friends and family members to a special holiday or another type of experience that you can all share together. Not only will there be less capital after you pass away for your loved ones to be taxed on, you will also have the chance to make some final memories that those close to you are likely to treasure for many years to come. Number 11 is to buy a funeral plan. The cost of funerals are rising and the average cost is between £3,000 and £6,000. Therefore, you can deal with this cost up front through the use of a prepaid funeral plan. These allow for you to pay for your funeral upfront, meaning that money can't then count towards your inheritance. Number 12 is to give away assets that are free from capital gains tax. If you own assets such as shares or property that have fallen in value since you bought them, they can be passed on without attracting any capital gains tax. Number 13 is to spend it all. It's your money, so you can spend it. Why save your money knowing that a significant portion of it could be taken away through inheritance tax? Instead, why don't you enjoy life and treat yourself to some nice holidays and gadgets that are going to make your life easier? Number 14 is to stay below the inheritance tax threshold. The threshold for inheritance tax is currently £325,000. This is also known as the nil rate band and can be transferred to a spouse or civil partner on death. Number 15, and our final tip, is to make use of the small gift exemption. You are able to make small gifts of up to £250 per year to anyone you like. There is no limit to the number of recipients in one tax year, and these small gifts will also be free from inheritance tax, provided you have made no other gifts to that person during the tax year. So there we have it, 15 really useful tips that you could use to reduce or remove any future inheritance tax. However, when it comes to avoiding inheritance, you should always speak to an estate planning specialist. They will be able to tell you what financial and legal approaches you can take to minimise any inheritance tax that may be paid from your estate. You can find details of estate planning specialists in your area on our website, so please do have a look. Okay, that's all we're going to cover today. I hope you found this video on avoiding inheritance tax useful. If there are any other questions you would like answering, please leave these in the comments section below and we will respond to them. Also, please subscribe to our channel for more informative videos on elderly care issues. Bye for now.